Alrighty, it is now February of 2020, and a lot of fans have been wondering about the future of the Star Wars franchise after the Rise of Skywalker by Disney and Lucasfilm, and exactly what they have planned for the Star Wars community moving forward. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one aspect of the Star Wars franchise that a lot of fans are really looking forward to is to see exactly how Disney and Lucasfilm are going to handle everything related to the Star Wars franchise after the sequel trilogy, after the Skywalker saga wasn't really handled at its maximum potential by Disney. We do know that the sequel trilogy had a lot of issues, especially The Last Jedi and even parts of The Rise of Skywalker. Now, when we look at Episode 9, obviously, this was used as a foundation to create new Star Wars lore. We saw a great example of this by director J.J. Abrams with all of the new Sith material, such as the Sith Eternal, the world of Exegol, Palpatine returning, everything related to it in that sense. And now with the new Star Wars movies on, you know, the future and everything related to how they're trying to expand their universe and expand the franchise into something new. That's what Bob Iger said at the premiere of The Rise of Skywalker is that they are now just finding out exactly what they are able to do with Star Wars and exactly what they can really do with the Star Wars community in order for them to enjoy this new mythology of Star Wars as a whole. Now, on to the new trilogy. What's really exciting about all of this is, of, of, of course, the series of new Star Wars movies to release throughout the 2020s. Now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are finished with The Rise of Skywalker and the entire sequel trilogy, they are currently moving forward onto the new Star Wars universe that will consist of a brand new series of movies, TV shows, books, comics, and even video games that will all interconnect with each other. This is said to be their plan in order to, to, in, in order to develop the future of the franchise moving forward, where one of the strategies that Lucasfilm has in store has to do with the upcoming new Star Wars trilogy that will bring fans into a brand new mythology of Star Wars. Now, currently they are said to be bringing on tons of writers and directors for these new Star Wars movies, and that one of the films are codenamed Star Wars Legacy for the time being. The first film of the new trilogy is said to have multiple code names for the project through the changes it went through, where currently it was described as Star Wars X and Star Wars Legacy now, where it went through, of course, different code names such as Star Wars Eternal as well. Now on top of all this, the new Star Wars film is said to bring fans into a brand new era of the, of the Star Wars franchise that they have never seen before on the big screen and that they are looking for Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni to become co-writers for the new Star Wars trilogy in some way, shape, or form. The idea to have both Jon and Dave as co-writers for the new trilogy of films comes with their success for Star Wars The Mandalorian. Star Wars Legacy is said to explore the unknown regions and will include tons of new Jedi and Dark Side users, while also exploring the unknown regions and of course the Legends of the Sith, where Disney and Lucasfilm are currently looking to develop Star Wars Legacy as the darkest Star Wars film there is out of the entire franchise and that they are currently trying to get Jennifer Connelly on board as a lead role in the new Star Wars film. Not only that, but they are also still trying to get Keanu Reeves on board for the new Star Wars movie as well, and that George Lucas will also be a part of the new project for the writing process, and will be writing elements of the first film in the new trilogy for the fans. It's noted that George Lucas will be attached to the new Star Wars film as a co-writer, with both John and Dave, and that the main writers are set to be announced this February of 2020. So, obviously, we can see that Disney and Lucasfilm are really in a phase of desperation. There's no doubt about this because of what happened with The Last Jedi and exactly what happened with The Rise of Skywalker as far as the box office results, right? So, that's the thing about Star Wars right now is that we do know that Star Wars is going under a big change. And this big change all has to do with their new Star Wars trilogy, their new universe, if you will, and how they're going to handle it differently in a more respectful matter for the Star Wars fans, for the community, right? So that's what I like so much about this so far. I think that what we're going to see in the future, it's going to have a different tone, if you will. It's going to have a different feel to it all, uh, far different than the sequel trilogy actually went you know, through with, have how that tone was more Marvel-esque to a degree, as far as the humor goes. It had like Marvel humor thrown in there. The fact that these new movies are going to be darker, kind of like more like the prequel trilogy era, especially the Revenge of the Sith, 
To me, Revenge of the Sith was very dark. Uh, I think that's the darkest Star Wars film there is to date, even more so than The Empire Strikes Back. So the fact that we're going to get Star Wars movies like as dark as Revenge of the Sith, to me, I think is something very much to look forward to. I've always wanted to see a darker Star Wars film. In fact, the fact that they're trying to go darker just tells us that they're trying to attract a older audience from what it seems uh, but when we look at everything here they're trying to model this after Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones and mixing Star Wars in there in order to deliver a different type of Star Wars trilogy so the fact that they're trying to get Jennifer Connelly on board and George Lucas in the writing process as well as John and Dave in the co-writing of this movie it really does tell us that they're trying to make it the best as they can and to catch lightning in a bottle again so with that being said guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.